Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Sustained in the Middle, where we talk about real life things. Hopefully you get encouraged along the way, get pointed back to the creator of all things, our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so excited to talk about attunement today and a little story about Halloween. Thanks so much for being here. Well, as we get started on the whole aspect of story and going a little bit deeper, there are actually six things that we need as a child in order to not have long-lasting trauma. Isn't that kind of crazy to think about? It's called the big six. And as a child, our most important attachment was our connection with our primary caregiver. I think most of us know this, right? The whole um, joke about going to see your counselor and having to lay on a couch and kind of dig up your whole childhood. Well, there is actually truth to that. This one relationship with your primary caregiver shaped our brains more than anything else. And during our early developmental stages, every child, you and me, we needed six things from our parents. And I'm going to focus on attunement today. But the six things are attunement, responsiveness, are our parents strong enough to handle our negative emotions, engagement, ability to regulate our arousal. And we're going to talk about um, arousal as bodily sensations uh, during this series. Did our parents have a willingness to repair? And so today for attunement, Uh, If you want, if you're taking notes, you can go ahead and write this down. Like, were our parents so attuned to us that they knew how we were feeling? Like when you look at your kid and you see how they are feeling, how they're responding, their facial, like what their face is doing, are you able to attune to them? Were your parents able to attune to that? Or were your parents so distracted by their own needs, their own wants, their own emotions, and their own personal pain that they couldn't actually be empathetic and get down to the child's level, get down to your level and say, oh my goodness, I see by your face that you are not doing well. How can mommy help you? You know, just like when a child cries, like what a mother typically does is respond to those needs. But what about when they get to be a toddler? What about when you get to be six? What about when you get to be 12? Is there attunement there from your parents? And could you recognize that? So a little story for me when I started to recognize attunement in this type of a sense is Kai was four years old and it was Halloween, apropos for today. And we were going up a driveway. We were out with friends in like this really beautiful neighborhood. People had decorated their homes so nicely and nicely, quote unquote, as per the holiday. And he did not want to go. Now, he was a little bit more of a sensitive child in terms of um, being afraid and I guess more sensitive uh, to things of creepiness and grossness and horror, or if that's what it comes down to. So he did not want to go up this driveway. And I thought, oh my goodness, go ahead, keep going. And I literally pushed him up this driveway and he was so scared. And my own desire for him to do this tradition, I was so stuck on what I did as a kid that I wanted him more than he did to go up and to get this candy. Well, the ironic thing is that I didn't even let them eat the candy. (laughs) The whole thing is so messed up. And so I finally became attuned to the fact that he doesn't want to do this. And am I willing to let go of my own desires in order to pay attention to his little face and his little heart? I'm so thankful that the Lord paid attention to me and always pays attention to me when I cry. You know, the Bible talks about how Jesus bottles each of our tears and he keeps them and he weeps with us. Like he is so good to walk alongside of us. And a question that really sticks out to me when I think about attunement is how does Jesus care for you? In those moments where you are down and out, what does it feel like for Jesus to pay attention to you When you bring your hurts to him, when you bring your cares to him, how do you feel Jesus near to you? And so I just pray that as you go on today, that you will remember a, to turn attunement to your own children, but also to work through and to, and to tell the truth about how your parents attuned to you. Jesus, I pray that as we go today, that there would be um, a 
really good awareness of what it is that we are doing to our kids and how we are able to go ahead and to put away our own personal wants and our own personal needs that we wouldn't be distracted by those. God, and would you reveal to um, my friends today what it is that you do to care for us and in what ways that you present yourself to us and we can um, be just wrapped in a warm hug by you today. God, thank you for this lesson on attunement. We appreciate you so much. Amen. Have a good day, friends. Thanks for tuning in.